Good evening and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight uh, we're going to make some vegetable stew, something I make uh, pretty often. Uh, this is my chef's hat. It was given to me by some friends who I made this soup for and apparently they liked it, so maybe you'll like it too. First thing I do is I um, cut an avocado in half. And scoop it out, mash it up, all the good stuff. Then I mash it up real good. Then I put it in a cup. Put a little water in it, a little cold water that is, mix it up, you'll see it like, it liquefies in there. Then just a little black pepper, all like that. The avocado uh, was my uh, wife's idea uh, because I had been adding a little olive oil to the soup because it's a vegetarian soup. It doesn't have you know much of its own fat, and uh, she said, "Well, you know, what do we need all that oil in there for?" And um, so she suggested I use an avocado, and it's really like great stuff to use in a soup. Uh, this is a parsnip. I'm uh, gonna cut the parsnip up, and this really kind of sets the tone for everything. You're just kind of chopping it up very coarse in chunks and I think about you know chunks that would fit on a spoon that's about it nothing too big nothing too small also I try to put the ingredients in uh, in the order like the uh, avocado I really want that to blend in through the whole soup you know whereas um, some of the stuff I put in later like the um, uh, sweet potato and the squash uh, I like to you know I put, put it in last because you know if you put it in too soon it just disintegrates it's nice to have it kind of, kind of chunky while I peeled the garlic I uh, had the um, soup on a high flame and uh, now it's boiling, so I'll add lentils. I'll add just like a couple of handfuls like this. And about the same amount of uh, pearl barley. Now I'm going to chop up the barley, and that of course you want to chop up real fine because uh, you want it to blend in throughout the soup. And I'm getting it in nice and early so it has a plenty of chance to do so. And the onions, they don't have to be that uh, cut, uh, chopped that fine. You just kind of cut them up. Once again, you want to have in mind spoonfuls. So if uh, you're cooking it longer, you can use more of the outer part of the onion. But I only cook it for about three hours, so I usually take off one layer from the outside. There's nothing too uh, hard to uh, dissolve in there. Are pretty strange. I can't decide if there's some kind of cattail or what. Onion? I don't know. But uh, they taste good in the soup. 
you have to watch out because uh, up in here, that's where they uh, collect dirt. You don't want any dirt in your soup. I chop up the leeks fairly fine. I at least cut all the rings of um, the, I try to cut all the rings of the leek in half. Excuse me, it makes quite a, quite a bit. Scallions are good, nice and chunky in the soup. Uh, right now I have um, probably about 80 or 90 ounces of liquid in there. And you want to keep track of that. You want to make sure that uh, it's going to end up the consistency you want. Um, I like it like not too much liquid in there. So I'm um, pretty conservative with the water I put in during the process. Celery is a surprisingly strong flavor. And uh, so you want to be conservative with uh, how you use it. I usually use, um, you know, in this couple of gallons of soup that I make, I use these uh, four or five stalks. And uh, that seems to be plenty. You might have noticed that I, was, I didn't necessarily pick the best celery to put in here. And it's not necessary because, although, you know, good ingredients make good, you know, soup. Um, you know, you have like uh, these carrots that are a little peaked. I mean, they're perfectly good, but they're not very attractive. Uh, you put them in the soup and they do just fine. And they'll be perfectly lovely and tasty in there. For spinach, I take uh, this prepackaged stuff and uh, I put in maybe a third of this. This is uh, 16 ounces weight-wise, uh, and this is baby spinach, but any fresh spinach would be fine. Um, it's best that the leaves aren't too big, that's all. So you see I'm working hard. I got my uh, sleeves rolled up now, but uh, <laughs> there are the uh, green beans. This is a 12-ounce package of green beans, pre-packaged green beans, and you can uh, just as well use fresh. Uh, this kind of saves, the uh, pre-packaged ones kind of saves on the washing a little bit. I mean, I still wash them, but... Uh, it's probably not as hard as washing them. Uh, it's from my bin. And uh, green beans, beans can stay pretty big too. Doesn't hurt anything. I like this uh, pre-packaged butternut squash because, uh, you know, it's just so much easier than peeling it yourself. Um, you can also, you know, find it in packages cubed, and that's okay, but it's usually not cubed small enough, so you still have to end up cutting it. Um, I should try to cut the uh, squash so that uh, it doesn't uh, end up in too small a chunk, but still uh, small enough to get on a spoon. Um, the idea is that it doesn't you know, break up too much in the course of cooking. Otherwise, it tends to dissolve throughout the whole soup, and uh, I think that's less desirable. I think it's uh, nicer if it's... Uh, keep some of its integrity. I really love squash in the soup because um, it's colorful uh, and it's uh, uh, sweet and it really adds a nice flavor and, uh, and appearance to the soup. Isn't this a beautiful yam? It's just gorgeous. I like them like about this, they're a little bigger, and uh, that's about right for this soup, which makes about uh, a little over two gallons of soup. If you're making less soup, of course, you use a smaller yam. Now he's all set to put in the soup. Last thing, the last thing usually I do is the mushrooms. Uh, sometimes it's second to last. Uh, one reason I like to do them second to last is because uh, they like to float. And if I put them in second to the last, then I can put on the uh, put in the uh, sweet potato and sink them. But it still works out. And uh, I only use about six of them because they tend to really darken the soup. 
and uh, over the course of uh, this process I have added about uh, maybe five six cups of water and I do that every time I add an ingredient I stir the soup and if it seems like it's getting a little too thick to me I add a little water but I never add more than a cup at a time because it can really get out of hand and then it gets too runny and it's not as good what a nice hearty chunky thick soup Right now uh, the soup's all kind of separate and uh, uh, it'll cook now for about three hours and um, it'll be about uh, midnight and I'll shut it off and um, leave it overnight and then put it into containers uh, to eat during the week and some to freeze. And then after uh, a few days it looks like this and uh, it, lasts, lasts, it lasts very well um, and uh, uh, tastes good and uh, it's great stuff <laughs> so i hope you like it